Hi, I'm Todd with Auto Customs. Today we're going to install the Lund Summit Ridge running board on this 2009 to 2014 Ford F-150 Super Crew. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what we're going to do is go to the front portion of your rocker panel. If you're on the driver's side, we're going to move the brake cable out of the way. We're going to locate with the bracket. We've got a hole in the pinch weld and a hole up in the rocker panel next to this uh, rectangular hole. Now this, this whole area right here might be covered up with tape, so you might have to peel it away in order to find that. What we're going to do is we're going to take one of these clip nuts or U-nuts, we're going to slide it through this rectangular hole and center it over top of the round hole. That puts threads behind the rocker panel. Right. So next what we're going to do in order to mount this bracket, we're going to take one of our provided uh, bolts. It's a longer bolt. It's going to go up through the pinch weld and it's going to go through the hole in the bottom of the bracket. Once we've got that in place, we're going to take a provided flat washer and a provided serrated flange nut. We're going to go right over top of that bolt. We're going to set it in finger tight for the time being. Next, we're going to take a provided short bolt with a washer or run it into the clip nut that we just installed. And again, this is going to be finger tight. And we just want all this to be finger tight so we can wiggle that around just a little bit until we line everything up for final tightening down. Sure. Next, we're going to come back to the first round hole. That too may be already covered by tape. We're going to take our bracket and take the provided bolt plate. We're going to go through the top oval shape hole in the bracket and come around the back side and put on the serrated flange nut. And take run it through the hole just like so. And there again, we're going to tighten this down just finger tight for the time being. The next bracket back is going to go uh, just past this little square hole and next to this oval hole. We're going to have a hole in the pinch weld. This is the only hole we're going to use for this bracket. And just like the front bracket, we're going to run a bolt to the bottom then we're going to use the provided flat washer and provided serrated flange nut. And leave that finger tight. Next, we're going to move back to this round hole. Again, this might be covered by tape. We're going to install this just like our number two bracket. We're going to drop that into the round hole. And just like the number two bracket, we're going to put this in just finger tight for now. We're not going to use any kind of a bolt into the pinch weld. Uh, we're just going to set this in at the rocker panel. All right, now our last bracket is going to install just like the front. We're going to slide in our clip nut. Take our long bolt, go up through the pinch weld hole, directly behind that hole in, in the uh, rocker panel we put the clip nut on. These are provided flat washer, provided serrated flange nut. And this, of course, is going on the long bolt. Put that on finger tight. And we're going to use our short bolt with provided washer and go through the threads in the clip nut. So next, we're going to take the, uh, the bolts that were taped to the bottom of the running board. We're going to take them and slide them into the channel on the bottom of the board. Then we've got five brackets. We're going to do five bolts in each channel. Next, we're going to line up the bolts from the running board up to the brackets. We're going to center the running board on the vehicle. Use the provided nuts. Put those in place. We're going to do this on all five brackets. Now, we can go ahead and tighten them down, but be careful not to over-tighten them. Once we've tightened all the bolts to the running boards, we're going to go back and tighten the brackets to the body all the way down. All of our hardware is using a half inch wrench. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.